Today's topic, does smoking really cause cancer? Welcome to International Academy Germanische Heilkunde by Dr. Rücke Gerd Hammer, MD. My name is John Hollidauer. At GHK Academy, I represent the original seminar program according to Dr. Hammer in the English language. I was a smoker many years ago, but I was able to quit. When you read on a pack of cigarettes, Tobacco smoke contains more than 70 substances that have been proven to be carcinogenic. Then you should think a little bit. It says over 70 substances. Not exactly 71 or 74, but about 70 substances. So just a rough estimation. And then it says proven to be carcinogenic. Proven? Yes. Proven by what? By experiment? But then every smoker would get cancer. What is smoking supposed to cause? Does smoking cause lung cancer, prostate cancer, skin aging, infertility, or impotence? Everything is blamed on smoking. Imagine the guilt. Conventional medicine don't know why the patient has prostate cancer. But if he smokes, it's because of smoking. They don't know the cause of impotence, but if he is impotent and he smokes, then it's because of smoking. Linking two facts together is not serious. Smoking and lung cancer, sugar and tooth decay, sun and melanoma. You can't do science with statistics. With this approach, I can prove or disprove anything I want. For example, I can investigate the topic women with breast cancer. What brand of car do they drive? One brand has to win, there is no other way. And one brand will win. Let's say that women with breast cancer drive preferable VW Beetles. All I need is the entrance ticket, a doctor's degree. And then I can write in a newspaper or in a medical journal The VW Beetle is highly suspected of causing breast cancer. And then I can top it off with the investigation of what brand of car do women with breast cancer not drive. Let's assume for a moment that women with breast cancer do not drive the gold colored black dotted Dodge Challenger. So I could go on writing gold colored black dotted Dodge Challenger could prevent breast cancer. I can wreck VW Beetles sales with my investigations and promote Dodge Challenger. Today's science does not have to prove anything and this opens the door to arbitrariness. Conventional medicine and pharmaceutical effectiveness is not proven by science. This is terribly dangerous. But this is the society we are living in. Let's try another way. Let's assume and I'm a businessman and I have a product. I want to market it. I write to the Ministry of Health. I have a product which contains more than 70 substances proven to be carcinogenic. I would like to have permission to market it. Good luck with this. Strangely enough, with every medication you have a package insert with the side effects. The tobacco store should also include a package insert with every pack of cigarettes. But they don't. This would also mean that car manufacturers would have to put a sticker on every car stating that driving a car could be fatal. You see, this is all pure arbitrariness. I call it arbitrary fear-mongering, the new religion. And with this new religion in place, I can be detached from the facts and laws of nature, and I can build an artificial society with its own rules and laws. Welcome to the Matrix. We are living in dangerous times, and the example of smoking is only one of so many. So truth and reality is being abolished, and fake news and fake science is being created to replace the truth, just like in a virtual world where the creator makes up the rules. We are steering towards a virtual society. This is dangerous. Think about it. 
So, smoking, it is not healthy, no doubt about it. You poison yourself chronically, but it's relaxing. And I would have never stopped smoking just because someone told me that it would be harmful. I quit smoking because 95% of the price of cigarettes is for taxes. And I could not reconcile with my conscience to support this fake system. Goodbye. Until the following video. Germanische Heilkunde is considered by those who have understood its underlying principles to be the most significant discovery in known human history. While conventional medicine is based on more than 5,000 hypotheses, Germanische Heilkunde can be proven at any time to be the only medicine that is scientifically verifiable. With Germanische Heilkunde, for the first time in recorded human history, there is a scientifically verifiable medicine for each patient case. More than 30 medical universities have already confirmed this in the past. Still, Dr. Hammer's discoveries have been suppressed and denigrated for over 40 years. Take your health into your own hands and learn Germanische Heilkunde while you are still healthy. For this purpose, the GHK International Academy offers you an extensive program of seminar tutorials from the basics through the organ level to the psychoses. This seminar program will change your relationship with your body and your health once and for all. You will find the direct link to the homepage of the GHK International Academy below the video.